a look at that dog walking forecast for today because little Benji might not like it as we are definitely going to be dealing with some cold conditions and also some wintry type weather out there. Right now we can see Benji just a relaxing on the chair there as he is watching us in the morning. So thank you for that Cornell sending this in. If you want to send that picture in, please do so at Charles at WMAR.com. So we are going to have a wintry mix rolling here as we head towards 9 o'clock. It will be here 12 o'clock and then it looks like we'll get a break as we head more towards 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock and then we'll start to have another wave move in a little later. So the satellite and radar right now picking up on some of the returns around Frederick. A lot of this uh, kind of evaporating, not really hitting the ground, but some of you may be getting in on that. This will continue to slide on off towards the east as we go through the morning hours. Let me uh, widen out the view so you can see the bulk of the action down off towards the south and west and that cold front move through. That's why temperatures are cold enough to support this wintry mix that will be moving in. As we go into the afternoon, we will have some dry time and then we will have another round. The temperatures this morning at freezing. We're seeing this around Manchester this morning. We're seeing this in Jarrettsville. It's 34 degrees right now and have a degree. Seeing that in Ellicott City as well. Back off towards Deep Creek temperature is freezing. We're dealing with that around Frostburg. So temperature is cold enough to support some snow. We can see that may move in around parked in this morning as we head towards about the eight o'clock time frame. Westminster picking up on that Thermont and then we go a little bit further off to the south and we can see what happens here. You see that swath of pink. That's where we're talking about some icing concerns there. What we're going to get this morning we're not talking about accumulation quite yet, any type of accretion with that ice, but the one and that round that we get later this afternoon, I should say later this evening, rather, that's the one that will start to uh, accrete that goes into motion, picking up on around seven o'clock, eight o'clock this evening, and you can see a lot of that pink coming in across the area, and that is going to add up. Now, when we talk about ice, you don't need a whole lot of ice to cause problems, but we will see possibly up to about a quarter of an inch as we move into your Friday morning. We will have more rain coming in across the area, but by the time we hit the afternoon, we'll start to get a few peaks of sunshine as we begin to dry things out. So that's definitely some good news. So let's talk about those totals and you can see that this morning they start to add up a little bit. We get a break from the action and then they start to add back up as we go into the evening time frame. So all in all, we can see a trace down off towards the south up to about a quarter of an inch of that ice. So again, you have to be really careful out there. You're not going to win against ice, and that's why we actually do have a winter weather advisories that go into effect at 7 o'clock tonight and linger until 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The seven day forecast that picks up on temperatures that will continue to go up and down over the next several days. Friday morning, we have the rain with the temperature coming at 53. It will be breezy, and then as we head into the weekend, the start of the weekend, temperatures will be below average coming in the low 40s. We will have a mix of sun and clouds, and then by Sunday, the breezes return temperatures above average. We go back down once again on Monday with plenty of sunshine in the forecast up again on Tuesday and we stay that way on Wednesday. Megan Knight.